Hello, this is Daniela, and it's the first day of VEDA. I haven't done this in a while, but I figured what a better time to get back to VEDA than during a global pandemic when I'm self-isolating at home most of the time. Um, let's see, how have I been? Haven't done any videos in a long time. I tried to do vlogmas in December and I made that about nine days, give or take. So here we go, trying again with this daily vlog thing. Let's see, what have I been up to since isolation began? Uh, I'm a teacher, I teach. And on Friday, March 13th, we left school with the district telling us we would be having class like normal. So I didn't know what would happen, but didn't really say goodbye forever to all my students. Um, and then Saturday the next day, the district and then the governor closed schools, uh, the governor closed schools in the entire state. And that was a couple weeks ago. So then the two weeks after that, we were kind of in a waiting period, you could say. Um, the students weren't doing anything in my district because the county people wanted to obviously make sure that when we did continue with new learning that students would have access to that because the reality is um, even in, well, especially in a large district like mine, even if it's in an area where near a lot of universities where people might have technology, there are still going to be some students that don't have computers, that don't have internet access, and that sort of thing. Uh, so I spent the first two weeks, or two days rather, of the first days with the buildings closed, not doing anything, and then we learned that those days were intended to be teacher work days. Uh, so in my district, we have to work from home, which I'm okay with, because uh, at the beginning of it all, the thought of still having to go out and be around people made me kind of nervous. So since then, I've been working from home, documenting hours, but of course, um, hasn't been super easy because we haven't been able to assign new things for our students. So most of my job, the hours that I do, are spent teaching in a classroom. And on teacher work days, if I'm at school, I'm with other people, so um, I more or less figured things out. I signed up for a free course through one of the universities that I've been working on, so if I need to document hours, I can spend time doing that. Um, and then, you know, the county has given more information, so we'll get to start new learning after our spring break. So they didn't really change the calendar too much. Next week, still spring break. Obviously, you shouldn't travel during that time, but what it does mean is I'm on vacation and I don't have to do work. So I can just kind of be at home. Um, as far as any sort of remote learning, the main thing I'm looking forward to, even if it's just a little bit, is just getting to interact with my students again. I miss them. I like my job. I like being a teacher. I like teaching high school. And working from home every day, I don't get to see them. Uh, I've gotten a few messages here and there in my Google Classroom or an email from some of them, even if it's just to ask a question and I get so excited like, oh, this student's emailing me about a grade interaction. Uh, so, and I've also put out some things if they wanted to do it for options to practice with their Spanish, to listen to some things. Um, and some of them have done that. Uh, I don't really expect too much at this point. I'm gonna be flexible. This is a new thing for all of us to be all at home, trying to learn remotely during a global pandemic. I'm usually pretty easygoing anyway, and this is definitely a time to kind of take things easy. No need to overwork ourselves. There's definitely no expectation that this is going to look like a normal instructional time. It's all gonna be okay. It'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I, I have some kids that I was like really happy with in my classes, 
some that I knew from before that I was really looking forward to having this semester. So I mostly just sad about that. All right. Um, I see that this video is about five minutes long, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Like I said, since I'm home for a long time now, I figured I'd give Veda a go again. So I'll be back and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!